So I'm going to play the role of two persons. One is a client named John Doe, and the other is the artist, Jane Doe. And I'm going to book Jane Doe here. This is Jane's listing page. So I'm going to set the date that I want to book her. Let's say 30th of September. And I'm just going to click on request to book. The booking request has been sent to Jane. So I'm going to return to Jane's page over here. And if I just refresh the page, I will see that I have a request coming in here, which I just did just now. I click on details here. So what happens is Jane could actually um, approve, approve or reject this booking. So I'm just going to approve it. And I'll return as John Doe here. And I'm just going to go to my reservations. And there you go. So Jane has approved my reservations. Click on pay now. I can pay using PayPal or Stripe. Then I just click on process payment and it should proceed from there. So here is the song request app for Jane Doe here so what happens is that during the event me and my guest will be able to make song dedications song requests over here so if we would like to, uh, jane to sing the song dancing queen uh, we just have to click on this and she, the more requests she, she gets the more chances that she's going to play the song and also the, ded the dedications that we could actually send and the best part here is that we can actually do virtual claps here so you see that it's a virtual collapse and also virtual hearts which we could send to Jane while she's streaming on the other side of the world.